What's up you guys, Frost here, back with another X Defiant video. So, I guess we can all kind of agree that Season 1 isn't really off to the best start. And I think there's just going to be a lot more changes going on down the road. First thing I want to talk about is I did get Titanium Prisma for my 8k, I think, two days ago. Um, I was too busy grinding a little bit of ranked, and midway grinding into ranked, I got Titanium Prisma. This skin is actually really fucking good, by the way. Like, holy fucking shit. And I think I'm gonna just get Titanium Prisma for a select couple of weapons, like maybe the ACR, uh, maybe some of the errors, and then the SMGs, and then I'll probably kind of leave it at that unless we get some sort of mastery uh, down the line. I, I don't know if that's how they're gonna do it. Uh, I don't know if that's how they're gonna do it with this game, but if not, then yeah, I'll just leave Titanium Prisma for a couple of weapons, and then we'll just move on to the next season. So, this season was pretty bad for the launch. I mean, there are fixing some bugs. I think they, I think recently they just can't uh, like had a patch for uh, PlayStation uh, fixing their performance issues going on with the PlayStation Five, which is crazy. I, I don't know how that happened. We're gonna hop into some tdm kind of i need to warm up i kind of just sort of slightly woke up and uh got done feeding my cat went on a fucking walk and then just kind of plopped here and was just like you know so as of right now ranked is pretty not worth it to play if you really want to play ranked you're kind of just wanted to grind you know a little bit of the ranks and stuff like that just to kind of get your footing for what's going to be you know in high stakes for when your elo is on the line there's a lot of issues especially with the elo uh as is whereas if you mercy rule with like the first maybe 30 seconds uh towards the end of the match and you die you don't get awarded xp so you i mean you don't get awarded rp so evidently that is probably the reason why some people are not getting uh that there's a lot of bugs when it comes to grenades when you try to throw a grenade and it just doesn't launch it's pretty fucking annoying um i actually hate this bug with all of my heart so let's go play some team deathmatch just to kind of just chill out and just kind of get into the warm the warmation we're going to be using the acr because if you have not noticed with this skin i got this skin by the way in the battle pass if you get this skin in the shot uh not in the shot but if you get the skin in the battle pass this gun this gun skin makes the gun sound a lot more different it sounds like you're shooting a water gun i'm gonna show you in the in game so basically if you shoot it it literally sounds like a water gun. It's so cool. It's definitely the reason why I really want to grind out and use the ACR. <laughs> it just sounds so good. It just sounds so, you know, so like cartoony-ish. But basically, Aix came out with a tweet saying that they're going to be fixing a couple more stuff going into ranked season one and stuff like that. I don't know if it'll be for an update. I think it will be an update. Oh, shit. Nate Gibson just invited me to a fucking party. I'm <laughs> fucking... Holy shit. But basically, he said that they're supposed to be, you know... I think tuning some weapons as well as doing faction lock. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. But basically, they're supposed to be doing ability locking rather than faction locking. And what this means basically is that people can play the same faction, but you can only pick two of the abilities rather than just one. I think faction locking would have been ten times better because, like I said, it would have forced it would have forced people to play a role and be able to fill in for the gap of what people generally need to play to support a team competition. And I just think in general that, that that would be the best way to keep the player rank integrity. Because, I mean, even in streams, you would go into streams like of top players. And people are quite literally GAing midstream. <laughs> they are GAing midstream, bro. It is the funniest shit I have ever seen in a really long time. But it's also superbly respectable that people just don't want to go against fucking four shields 365 days of the fucking week. It is really annoying. It doesn't keep competitive integrity. It just boasts the fact that you just want to get as much elo as possible. And I just generally think that that is just the worst thing that you can kind of just go up against. Like, I haven't really went up much of, uh, against it. Or at least I haven't lost to it, basically. And it is by far probably the most egregious thing to kind of be matched up against and just try to win with because it's just boring it's just a really boring play style you just keep placing fucking shields this place 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 and just emps and stuff like that it's just there's just nothing no there's just no brain to it oh fuck i fucked up my shots there's just no brain to it and i just think that's just kind of like one of the things that we need is just that competitive integrity and that's just what that's just what's going to make x defiant fun in the long run and i get the idea of being able to be a flex player and having this other you know 
being able to play like the ability and stuff like that but that's what you kind of need in ranked is once stuff needs to be adjusted and stuff and you know shit's busted and stuff and shit like that you do have to go in and fix this uh before it is like before it is applicable to be played in rank basically so hopefully we do get some sort of update along the horizon that um <laughs> that we can get for those adjustments in ranked but as well as all of the other modes that are kind of just busted not like modes but like the other bugs and glitches that are just kind of breaking the game right now spider bot is kind of busted right now <laughs> there's a lot of shit that's busted with it so season one is just not off to a really good start but i don't think it's unplayable it's, it's far it's i've probably played i don't think i've played x defiant in a worse state that has been in right now but i could definitely see in a world where the game is completely unplayable and i'm definitely much more thankful of a game that doesn't have complete packet burst or anything like that <laughs> uh quote unquote cod you know forcing me to play on really really high ping even despite my connection being completely good so i mean that's always a bonus so all in all i mean x defiant is just still a really fun game this a lot of things need to be ironed out and by the way for people that don't know uh x defiant is powered on snowdrop and snowdrop is basically based off of an mmo engine it's my it's mainly used for mmos so it's not it's, this is the first time snowdrop has been used for uh an fps shooter so they're kind of working around with it, working the kinks, and I think they're doing a really good job of it. But just know that in mind that it's not the easiest engine to kind of just be there and be like, well, we can go up and fix this and we can go fix this in, you know, this amount of time, like really, really fast. It just took, it does take a little bit of time for some things because one thing can mess up another. And that's just kind of how the cookie crumbles at that point. Let me uh, let me just play this out, man. It's always me it's always fucking me it's always fucking me bro the the spider bot i don't think i've seen the spider bot go after anybody fucking else other than me i hope they fucking fix that i like bro it's so annoying using gsk and seeing your fucking um your fucking ability just not go down because it's just not a registered area please let me throw this thing wherever i can i promise you homie got tries man just give them the thumbs, man. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this whole update. You know, how are you feeling about it? I know a lot of people are upset. I, I am a little bit upset included, but I can definitely wait. It's not too bad. Um, Hopefully, to get a lot of things ironed out and fixed. We have the communication. You know, Mark Rubin and the team is behind it. And I know it kind of sounds like I'm kind of just glazing a little bit, but I I'm going to be completely honest. There's not a lot of, of developing teams, especially in AAA studios, that will be this transparent and get shit fixed in a certain amount of time and being able to do it in that time is what i'm saying you know it feels like they just have a lot of free reign when it comes to this game but um i do i'm not really a fan of playing catch up but it is the first iteration of the first season with their first game so i am going to give them that leniency but i mean i feel like with season two if it's the same you know oh back to the drawing board then that's whenever i'm probably going to have issues but until then, uh, I feel like there's a lot of discussions online on how ranked is going to go. We still don't know how uh, it's going to go for abilities and for weapons. I don't think they're they're saying I don't think they're going to be GAing weapons uh, at the current moment, but I feel like they should. It really depends, but yeah, they got. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll get out to you guys' hair as always. Peace.